Jeremy Crawford here with the CUW Esports team. We are talking Call of Duty today and the 6-0 season start for the Falcons in Call of Duty. Um, we'll talk with you, Coach Lewis, for starting off. Um, how do you feel starting this year on such a high note? Uh, yeah, thanks for having us. I'm really happy to be here. These guys don't know, but I went into your office on Monday morning and I said, hey, we're 4-0, we're going to win both matches, we're going to win both matches tonight, and we're going to do a story on us being 6-0. So I'm very glad that we won both and are doing this story, but uh, no, it, this year has been nuts. Like, coming into a season, like, kind of all our teams with us being so young, we, like, think we're good, but we don't. We're not really, like, tested like other teams that have been competing for a while, and uh, it's usually like a, I don't know, just kind of a total crapshoot to start. We could think we're good and we're actually good or we get humbled really quick, but we've beat a lot of good teams. We're six and zero. we know we're really good and season's going to get tougher, but like, we're really optimistic in our chances of like, it sounds crazy, but like legit 10 contending for the national title. Um, Luke, can you break down really what goes into a match for the fans who are somewhat new to Call of Duty? Can you break apart what um, goes into a match? Um, generally what goes into a match is just, uh, it's a lot of preparation, a lot of talking about, you know, what, what we do, how, how to break certain hills for people that don't know what, um, kind of happens and know typically what Call of Duty is. Um, so first map will be hard point. Second map will be search and destroy. Third map will be control. Fourth map, if need be, will be hard point and then fifth map will be search and destroy and it's a best of five out of all of those and uh yeah generally for us it's just you know we get to the arena around 5 five thirty, start warming up for our games around seven and then uh yeah we just kind of go from there um so you guys are all six and now um nate what do you think has really led to this really great start for you guys um, honestly, we kind of hit the season pretty, pretty intense, pretty early. I mean, as soon as we found out what the team was and what it kind of looked like for the season, we really jumped on it over winter break. And we all, as I'd say, we put a lot of time in just getting comfortable with each other and kind of understanding each other's like play styles and how we work as a team. And so I think that we took some pretty tough losses, uh, in our scrimmages at the beginning of the season. And I'd say that that kind of helped us because then we knew right away that like, okay, we're the new dogs on the block and we're young and we're a, we're a developing team. So we're going to have matches where we're down 50 to zero off the first rip. And then we just got to be able to come back and just kind of be able to turn things around and like keep our communications pretty well, I guess. Yeah, a big thing I kind of bring up is like a lot of my other teams, like we get humbled really quickly to start just because we're so new. All the scrimmages we, we've we been doing weeks leading up to the uh, start of the season really helped us out because we did tryouts to like figure out who our A team was uh, back right after Thanksgiving. And then we decided on our four and then they've just absolutely been grinding since then. And they're all like former like traditional sport athletes. So they're really used to having that regimented like practice schedule and working to improve. Three of them are even two sport athletes right now. So uh, yeah, they've just been absolutely grounding for a while. So like the uh, the fast paced environment that we're in right now in the season, we've been like, we've put ourselves in for the last three months. Um, for the coaches here, um, what is it really like to coach this new sport here? Um, I know as a program, we're relatively young, but this group, this is a brand new group here for the Falcons. What is it like to really start to mesh just a new team together? Um, well, it helps that I played with Nate and Luke last year. So I've known them for quite a bit. Um, and then we added Hunter and Sean, which was a blessing because I didn't know I was going to graduate this early and I didn't know I wasn't gonna be able to play so we were kind of worried who who are we gonna add to this team what's gonna happen so Sean and Hunter were a blessing to find and Call of Duty went from 5v5 to 4v5 so we didn't have to find as many people which is nice um and so I just kind of fit into the coaching spot of hey get these guys ready for the season um 
and we've done that really well, and it's showing. I mean, this last week, we started off 4-0, and but it wasn't as clean as we would like, and last week we didn't drop a single map. We were 6-0 in maps, and that's finally we felt like, hey, this is we're finally really actually getting our stride now, um, and we hope that carries over next week against Illinois, who is also an undefeated. Yeah, it's, it's been fun. Sorry, sorry. I, 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 like, I just like touching on it too because Grant and I come from such different backgrounds. Like he is like so die hard Call of Duty. Like his ability to actually talk through like the game knowledge and uh, like exactly what to be doing and when to be doing it in game is just incredible. Like you hear these guys just like talk super deep cut and it's like just a completely different language. And like me, like I, I, I keep it a lot more like about – I guess like the fundamentals, like stressing communication, stress, stressing mindset, you know, how, you know, and just like overall, I guess, motivation, but like all four of these guys are just so coachable. I mean, it's, it's weird. It's a weird like perspective as a coach when like, they're like super pumped up and you're like, guys, guys, shut up, shut up. Okay. We're too hyped. Settle down, calm, compose. And if they're not, if the students are coachable, they don't always like respond well to that, but we've got such a good group. And I really credit that to the, the fact that all these guys played sports in high school like I said some are playing in college so they're used to I guess being coached. Um, Hunter can you we'll talk about the team dynamics and like what has worked really well for you and I know that communication has been brought up a few times here and how you guys have just been able to communicate like like coach said this 6-0 start is a very impressive start against some really tough competition. Um. Well after every match usually we uh, like put our schedules in and we try to be able to have like two to three practices a week, usually around our schedules, which is very nice for like uh, Luke's on in the hockey team, I'm on the football team. So going around our schedules is pretty much really easy. And like we have our night times that are open to get on the game and practice. We also have Snapchat group chat, which is helpful too. So. Our communication is very well based through that. Um, Lucas, can you talk a little bit about what it's like um, balancing two different sports right now where you're literally in the heart of the hockey season, you have a game tonight, and then you've already had six matches here for Call of Duty? Yeah, uh, it's it's easier than it seems, I suppose, with you know our practices being you know two to three times a week. Um, because we do have the weekends. Um, but it is nice because matches are on Monday for Call of Duty. So um, that's usually – you're typically not going to have a hockey game on Monday. Um, you might have a pretty hard practice. But, um, no, it, may, it makes it pretty easy just because, you know, my my normal routine is, you know, just wake up, play classes from, like, 10 to 1, go to hockey. Um, and then right after hockey, you go to workout school and then you go to the arena and you play your matches until 10 and then you kind of you know go home you might have a couple hours in there to eat and then um but when it comes to like a friday or saturday sorry uh when it comes to like a friday or saturday um those are you know typically just uh, hockey based because those those are normal game times so it, it, it does get pretty easy and from what I've been hearing from Lucas, he's he's pretty used to the schedule. He told me about his time back at juniors, and now it's a little different now. His classes, but he's like, yeah, ju at juniors, you just play hockey and you play cot. Yeah. And he's got like Sean was doing the same thing with his hockey schedule. Another hockey player that used to play on the team is uh, Braden Barker. Just they're used to just like grinding playing hockey and cod. So now it's just a little more organized and a lot more competitive for Call of Duty. I think, I think Sean's in the waiting room. I was yep, I, we're adding Sean in right now. <laughs> hey, Sean. What's up, man? How, how great of you to bless us with your presence. Sorry. I was doing homework. Thank okay, that's, that's not true, man. Not you, <laughs> just say you were playing Call of Duty and we're like, we don't care. We're good with that. So, Sean, we can ask you this question. Um, we've asked a few guys. What do you think has led to the success – for you guys in this season, starting off 6-0? Um, I think uh, our practices, probably. We do pretty well in practices. And I think we all get along pretty well, so that that, that helps. Um, so this is an open question. Whoever wants to take this, you can. What is it going to take 
to stay undefeated on this year and improve to eight and zero next week. Coach Speedy, you wanna go with Chad yeah. call? Um, next week's the big challenge. We all been, we all know it. It's a uh, Illinois Blue. We've scrimmaged them earlier in the year, and that was one of our ones that didn't go great. Um, but they are very beatable. You know, we're gonna go back and watch their matches later this week and, and get ready for them. Um, we're kind of glad that they scrimmed us early and they don't think much of us because come next week, they're going to probably not be ready because um, we're a very different team than we were a couple weeks ago. And we're just going to have to prepare the right way and not get frustrated. They're, they're going to be a very good team and probably come out strong in map one. Um, our best, for people that don't know, our best game mode as a group for this group is definitely Search and Destroy, which is going to be map two and five. We just got to focus on winning those two and stealing one of the games one, three, and four and not getting frustrated if we drop a couple of those. Yeah, we'll good week of practices. We're going to eat a lot of fruit snacks, especially Hunter. He absolutely plows our, our boxer fruit snacks. But uh, like what, what we've done so well this year is like, and what I worry about other teams is, People don't want, learn from wins as well as they do losses. It's almost like they need to lose in order to be like, oh my God, all right, something I'm doing is wrong. But early in the season, like we had a lot of really close series, some three twos that should not have been three twos. So we've been able to learn a lot without losing. And it's encouraging last week when we finally just get a clean, you know, 3 0, 3 0 sweep week. And like we're able to see that improvement and not like have our results lack at all. So we know like our matches have been the easiest they're going to get all season. And we all like are very aware of that and are sold on that idea of that what we've been doing is good, but needs to be better. And like the fact that we all are on the same page with that and put in the work to improve, like does give us op optimism that we can keep this undefeated streak going. Well, I wish you all the best of luck and hope the undefeated streak lasts. Um, Coach, you didn't jinx them on Monday, so that's good. Um, Thank you all to our viewers watching along, and uh, thank you all for joining us today.